Hey everyone, welcome back to Project Happy Home. For those of you who are new here, I'm Tanya, a doctor lawyer turned homeschool mom of three kids ages nine, six, and nearly five. In today's video, I will be showing you a little bit more about the Daily Reading Comprehension Workbook for Grade 2 from Evan Moore. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I've been using Evan Moore since the very beginning, and I recently became an affiliate for them. So what that means is if you click on any of the links in the description box down below, I do receive a small commission for anything that you might buy from the Evan Moore website. However, I am not an employee of Evan Moore, so all the opinions that I give you are entirely my own. These have been sent to me in exchange for my honest review. So here you have daily reading comprehension, and they are available for grades one through eight. It's one of the few series in Evanmore that's available all the way up to grade eight. It's These fun. books are organized in 30 weekly units, and they're designed to take no more than 10 to 15 minutes per lesson. So when you open up the book, like most Evan Moore workbooks, you have this very comprehensive table of contents. And you can see here that different strategies and skills are addressed every single week. So you have comprehension skills and comprehension strategies listed for every single section. So for example, here you have making connections. And then at week 16, you have things like character and setting, fantasy and reality. Week 24 is nonfiction text features, visual information, etc. There's always a couple pages on how to use this workbook. So you'll see that the workbook includes weekly teacher pages, a visual aid, which is a new addition to these workbooks, daily student pages, and so there's five for the week, and then a student record sheet where you can actually record in more detail each student's progress, etc. There is a scope and sequence thing. So if you are one of those families that doesn't do every single lesson in a workbook, this is really, really helpful because let's say your child is having issues with character and setting or you're doing a unit study on character and setting. You have an idea of which pages exactly, which weeks address that particular topic. How to be a good reader. This is like a visual chart that might be nice to put in an English workbook or in an English notebook for your child where it goes over, you know, what should they focus on? The main idea, details, sequence, cause and effect, fact and opinion, etc., etc. And it tells you what we're actually looking at when we talk about those concepts. Here's another visual aid about the weekly lesson, and it talks about different vocab, for example, visualization, organization of a text, important information, what questions you're asking, how to monitor comprehension as you're reading. Here's the student record sheet. So it has the weeks down the side and then the different days of the week and an area for notes. So you can record the number of questions they get correct every week and then notes about what you think they might want to work on. Here you have one page for the teacher to read and it's per day. So you have here exactly what you would have to do, you know, if you were teaching this in a classroom or if you're teaching more than one student. And then here you have the student worksheets. So you have week one, day one, you have a reading selection here. Here it's a fictional story. And then you have a complete the sentence and some multiple choice here. Filling in the bubble, by the way, you guys, is a really good skill for kids to learn because a lot of homeschool kids come out later on and they've never filled in any bubbles. And while some people brag about that, sometimes it can be a real detriment when you actually have to take a standardized test to get into college. So here you have week one, day two, day three, day four, day five. And then the next week is about visualization. So that second graphic that we saw, that second visual aid. So again, here you have dolphin, so a nonfiction reading passage, fish with lights. And again, you have different things. Here's strategy practice, circle words in a passage that helped you picture the angler fish. So it's giving you that idea, right? Of what are we looking for here? Like what kinds of things tell us more in a passage? What words give us more information? What words help us visualize what we're reading? So here it has um, draw to show this is what I think a stick insect looks like. So when you read the selection, it actually involves another comprehension step from the student that's not just fill in the blank. So I'm just gonna flip through this book pretty quickly because I think it's pretty self-explanatory just to tell you there's one little strategy practice section and the skill practice. The skill practice is generally multiple choice, but the strategy practice does change in style. So here it's talking about fact and fantasy, here it's talking about monitoring comprehension, fact and opinion, prediction, what will the children probably do next, nonfiction text features such as a glossary, main ideas and details, again, fact and opinion, cause and effect, 
fantasy and reality in terms of character and setting, author's purpose, sequence. There are some areas where you would write a question or write a sentence. There's some sections in this book that ask you to work with a partner. Obviously you as the parent can be a partner or a, another sibling or another student in your homeschool class. Comparing and contrasting. When you get to the end of the book, you have an answer key and the answer key is very brief. I kind of prefer the answer key pages that reproduce the entire page, but since it's just multiple choice and that a lot of the answers will vary, it's very easy to grade nevertheless. So this is what the answer key looks like. And I'll just flip through the entire book for you again so you can get an idea of how it is. But as you can see, each lesson is very, very short. It should take no longer. I mean, my kids could probably do this in about five minutes, let alone 10 to 15. So that's what I mean about some of these workbooks. I mean, people give workbooks a bad name because they say, oh, your child is just sitting there doing workbooks. But in our instance, the workbooks are actually done fairly quickly and more of our time is spent with um, living books, etc. But this really reinforces concepts that I might actually forget to talk about in my homeschool. So, so this was Daily Reading Comprehension for Grade 2. And again, as I said, it is available from grades 1 through 8. So I think it is a really well done book, actually. I like the swift lessons in it. And if you're interested in looking at this workbook or any more workbooks by Evan Moore, be sure to check out my link in the description box down below. And as always, I really do appreciate your time. Thank you for spending some of it with me and I wish you the very best day.